It's 6 a.m. And yeah. <laughs> so cute. And so every morning we go on a walk. So you're gonna see that today, our forest walk. Me and my parents and the dogs. Right now, fueling up with some apples. You get an apple. You're a psycho. Here you go. Okay, Finley, Finley. <laughs> Hello, you guys, and welcome to the weekly vlog, aka I think we're gonna call it Devon Diaries. <laughs> I think that's fun. So um, I've decided that I'm gonna start vlogging again, but in a different format. You're not gonna see every single thing I do, but we're gonna get a little bit more close and personal. But more of like what's going on in my life because I just put a lot of pressure on myself to give you guys the best advice ever when I also need to take my own advice and heal sometimes. So this week, of course, the week I start filming, um, I'm actually going on a trip. You guys are gonna see I'm going to Vancouver for the week. I'm gonna go snowboarding, maybe go to Seattle, do a lot of fun stuff. So this is gonna be a really fun one to start off with and yeah I guess you'll just see as we go along I don't really need to give a full intro but I appreciate all of your guys's patience throughout our journey together here on YouTube and <clears throat> and just kind of navigating the mind navigating ourselves um, growing trying out different things I just I always appreciate you guys so much um, so thank you and I love you if you haven't heard that yet today and yeah so today I'm gonna get my nails done only my toes because I get anxious and bite my fingernails which is really gross and I did get better at not doing that but they're like short right now so we're just not gonna touch them we're just gonna do the toes and then I don't really have many other plans it's a chill day it's family day today so we'll see as we go but yeah it should be an exciting week and I'm excited to bring you guys along, so enjoy. Okay, I'm back from getting my nails done. And I got a package. <laughs> Let's open her up, shall we? I already know what it is because I ordered it off Amazon. And I'm really doing my best to not spend money. But I look at this as an investment because I debated it for so long and... It's just gonna help with one of my ideas that I have coming up for this. So, I'll show you the unexciting part first. I got that little light that you hook up to like your camera or phone or whatever and it, okay, I'll just show you guys. I know you know what I'm talking about but I know I can't describe it. It's like this light, you know? We'll, we'll do, I think it needs batteries. I really don't feel like assembling it right now. We're just gonna do a full unboxing, whatever. It comes with a full clip to hold your phone. And then I'm guessing this is the charger for the battery. I literally will have to look at the instructions for this, which is so sad. And then here's the clip to clip to your phone. And I'm guessing like this circle part is for the front of the camera like oh just don't mind my thing but like <laughs> that okay i can't do it it's kind of tight but anyway whatever i'll figure it out so guys i think it goes like this like that somehow hooks in there i should have read the instructions because i have no idea how that's gonna unhook. I also think I put it on backwards. 
yeah okay <laughs> i figured it out so it hooks like this and then i probably have to charge it yeah yeah so i have to charge it so like this you know it sticks selfies good we get it that's what this is okay i looked at that as an investment that was less exciting but i thought mm, still could really use that actually then the exciting part so i got some microphones finally for my camera and my phone if i decide to continue to film tiktoks which i've been kind of lazy with but um i actually really needed this because I don't have one on my camera. Like I have one that's built into my camera, but I don't have one that's separate so I can't properly control like the pitches and stuff when I talk, which is really important for someone who makes videos twice, like all the time, especially now that I'm vlogging and with what I also wanna do, which you guys will see. I, I'm not gonna talk about it too much, but let's unbox this, shall we? So, Ooh, it all comes in a case. Cute. <laughs> I just love, like, getting things. But there's, a like, three parts here. So there's a receiver. So this one would probably... So the receiver would probably be on the camera. And then we have two transmitters. So this would be, like, on a person or two people. Um, obviously, I will have to read the instructions for this because... I would have no idea how to just use this right now and then there's just little pieces in here so so we have these covers for the mics and then these covers as well which are a bit bigger and then there's clips to clip onto yourself i'm guessing probably <laughs> and then we have some wires and chargers and all that fun stuff in here but this is really exciting that i finally have microphones um and i can use these these are little so they're really portable for any type of content so if you're looking for a sign to get something this is my inspiration for you i think it's hard sometimes especially when like you are trying to save money and be more not realistic about your purchases but more aware and like i'm doing like you know I'm saving money right now but I also know that this stuff will help me with like what I want to continue to do and just take me one step further so I look at it as an investment but I'm gonna go eat lunch right now because I'm starving after my long hard morning of getting my nails done um, but I will check in with you guys really soon so I had lunch and I put makeup on literally only eyebrows and mascara um because i hate wearing stuff on my face but anyway that's not important but why i did that was because the other video that's gonna come out besides vlogs is still gonna be me talking but like more of like a podcast format but not really because i don't it's not a podcast it's like the same thing as what I've been doing, but probably a little bit longer and more personal. So I don't put as much pressure on myself. <sighs> anyway, I'm just keeping you guys up with my train of thought right now. So that's why I bought all this stuff. I also want to put like shorter videos of what I say on TikTok but in a different format and either film with my camera sideways or film on my phone, but I need a good lighting and it actually does work. I just didn't know how to turn it on. So, this is it. Look at it. Isn't that stunning? There is natural light right now. <coughs> <coughs> so, anyway. But, yeah. Good purchase. But, that's why. Okay. <laughs> I don't know what this chaotic energy is. But that's why I got these little mics. But I do need to read the instructions on these. And, yeah. Anyway, so today, I, sorry, this is so chaotic, but today, um, for the rest of the day, it's literally only, it's 1.56, so I have my full day still. I think right now I'm gonna go for a walk because 
you guys know I'm literally obsessed with everything that has to do with nature and if you don't know well now you know I am a double earth sign I'll tell you guys all about my chart if you want to know we can talk about that but I'm gonna do that and I'm also gonna film hopefully um, but I guess I don't even need natural lighting because I have this thing and I've been going to sleep really early lately So I might get up earlier. I don't know. I'm just I'm going through like a rebirth right now so my energy has been feeling like super chaotic and Like my hair. I want to cut all my hair off I don't know if I should tell you guys that or not could be a surprise But I also told you guys we'd be more personal so you understand my train of thought So I'm thinking of cutting off all my hair. We're just transitioning now not like just like little curls like maybe I should show you guys a reference picture okay picture here this is what I want um, because in high school I used to straighten my hair all the time literally until like mid grade 12 because there was no black girls at my school and there was no one with my hair and then the people I grew up with outside of school also didn't have my hair and some of the black girls I did see always had braids and stuff like that and I didn't grow up like that so I I, I didn't even understand black culture at all which was really sad but um I, I wrecked my hair I straightened it all the time and after that in like halfway through grade 12 one day I was like I'm just gonna wear it out and like see and everyone loved it and I mean it's so sad that I felt like like I cared that much about what other people thought that I straightened my hair and then I'd put it like up like I'd barely wear it down it was so bad and it was so bad for my hair and I did it all the time I hated my hair and I just am so sorry to my younger self for hating my hair but now that I'm way past high school it's been like five years or something my hair has obviously changed and it's been a lot healthier but I still believe that all the work I've put into it everything that I've done to it now um, that it could be healthier it could be better it is pretty thin too like I'm sure you guys have seen on camera little bald spots in my head not even bald spots but I have really thin hair um, so I'm thinking that if I cut it it might regrow like thicker but I don't know. I've literally never cut it this short before. So that's just what I've been thinking is cutting my hair. But I also like I think and it's just hair. And if I don't like it, I'll just put braids in or something and I can learn how to braid. I just see a lot of positives, but like I know that there's going to be a lot of opinions, but I'm, I'm just I'm over that. So it's fine. Um, but I th I think the reason why I brought this up is because I feel like I'm going through a rebirth right now. Like every there's a lot in my life that's changing and a lot that's been like basically in slow motion and slowed down because so much is changing and so much is shifting like within the earth's energy and everything but also just like within my mind and there's just like it, there's just been a lot i've had friendships come and go this year when i thought that i already took away all the people that weren't serving me in my life but it's still happening so there's just a lot of changes going on right now that's also probably why i've been so anxious to be honest um thinking about that now <laughs> but it's okay anxiety is fine it sucks but we're working through it um but that's why i'm making all these changes with you guys as well hopefully me changing my format of how i do this is going to put less pressure on myself a little bit more fun and freedom um, but also still have the intention of inspiring you guys and getting um, like certain messages across when I can and things like that but you just get a little bit of a closer look into my life to see what I go through or what happens on my day to day I don't know hopefully it's interesting but you never know Anyway, but yeah, that's also why I'm restructuring everything because I just am going through all these changes and like nothing feels right. I'm like, Ugh, this no, it needs to go. We need to change this. We need to change this. I need to change my hair. So you might see me soon with very short hair, but we'll see. I'm going to hopefully film and go for a walk. And then, yeah. So I did an outfit change, as you could tell, because other sweater was not warm enough. I also didn't go for a walk. And I didn't record. But 
I played with the equipment and I realized that this camera doesn't have a um, output for like the cords so if I want to record or audio and use the microphones I have to record it separately on my phone or just record on my phone or just not use them but I'm using like most of the reason why I got it was for my phone but it would have been nice to have this for this camera I don't know if you're following but basically the G7X Mark II, which is what I have, um, doesn't have an output for an external mic, but the one that's Mark III does. So I'm like, do I exchange the cameras just for this microphone or just live with it for now and record the audio separately if needed, which is what I'll probably do because first world problems, you know what I mean? Like, why am I complaining? I'm writing down different ideas of things to talk to you guys about which I usually write on my phone but when I write write it's better than typing because more flows out but it I kind of it's like different because usually what I do is I'll write down something on my phone and then little notes under it of like so let's say I want to talk about like one of my videos I wrote like 10 ways to find peace so I'd write that as like what I was gonna do the video about and then 10 different things if it's not about that like a take control one what you need to take control over talking points like things like that so talking points essentially um, but I want what I talk about now to be like have talking points but them kind of steer off into different directions so that my mind can flow a little bit more freely so that you guys can find um, inspiration in what I say or that you can relate more to what I say and how my mind flows and you can kind of follow a little bit more because at the end of the day as much as this is our channel together we do these things together and I'm changing the structure so that I'm a little less stressed um, I still want the content to be something that you guys can all benefit from whether it's something that will inspire you or help you move forward or help you find comfortability literally anything so it is important that i can write these things down to not just put out nothing but i don't know what to write right now so that's why i wish you could talk back to me right now so you know we can have a conversation I'm like, can you see what I'm writing? <laughs> also, it's funny because you know how I can do like channeled messages? If you didn't know, I like get downloads like a lot of spiritual baddies, but um, and I get imagery as well. And it's just everything that I was saying about me going through rebirth, like what I was saying earlier. I think a lot is just changing like I haven't been as spiritual lately but it's because everything's been like slower here so I can have a more be a, a more of a calm state moving forward I think that's why everything's slowing down a bit um which is good I'm trying to stay positive as well as I can I've just been really anxious and overwhelmed lately so but yeah life is good hi Ellie hi Anyways, I'm going to try and find some inspiration, um, listen to some music, meditate, but yeah, things have been crazy. I've been less connected, but we'll get back there. Don't even worry. It's a rebirth. It's what's supposed to happen. Trust the process. Always trust the process. Okay, before you say anything, I know this looks crazy, okay? I know how this looks, okay? I'm braiding my hair for sleep tonight, so just shut up and trust the process, okay? <laughs> but it's not gonna look really good. Like, it's like braids starting down here because I don't wanna braid at the top of my head. I'm just not feeling like I don't care right now. I just probably take it out in the morning anyway. I just had a realization. And you know how when you're healing, or like when you go through the healing journey you kind of can find 
like have moments of realization when you've dug deeper into an issue and like found the root cause of something or found something that has really affected you your whole life and you're like wow wow like i never knew so i have one of those i have a couple but i have one of those and it's something that i've has affected me in like actually a ton of different areas in my life still and I still see it affect me um, especially with my like anxious tendencies and um, other things I struggle with like I think I've told you guys before that I have eating an eating disorder I don't know why I'm saying it like it's a bad word like it happens sometimes anyway Anyway, it affects me in more ways than I would like, but it's something, like, I know the root cause, right? And I think it's difficult when you're going through a healing journey, and the healing journey never stops, but you kind of reach a point where you're working hard to improve on whatever this event was that, like, whatever whatever the trauma is whatever's happened and you've seen how you've let that affect you throughout your life and you're working hard to change the outcome of how you respond react think whatever it is like because of this and you're working really hard and then something happens or like or you're back in the life with someone that was a part of this and it kind of brings up old traumas but you're working really hard to move past it i don't know if you guys are following where i'm going probably not because i yeah basically i think it can be really difficult to dig deep within yourself and find moments of weakness or find areas um that have really affected you and you do your best or you try to move forward in a different way about them and your surroundings aren't moving with you they're moving against you and I think that's honestly a common part of the healing journey that like maybe not a lot of people know or understand or have reached that part that whether you want to call it a test or just a way to react differently like basically like a test a way to move forward differently a way to respond differently act differently also these i look like wednesday <laughs> okay you know what we're gonna do that's what we're gonna do we're just gonna hide it anyway so I think it's like difficult because those tests can really push you to a point where you don't want to be but I think it's important to know that like if you have figured out something that has really affected you in multiple areas and you have worked really hard to get yourself to this certain point but you know you still have a lot to grow which is great understand that if you're at a point where your commitment is being tested and your values are being tested or this lesson this trauma is being tested in you to see if you've grown to see if you can react differently respond differently act differently and you see yourself in that moment of how you're acting and you're like hmm this is my old ways of acting this is my old ways of thinking that's reflection and that's really good and i think i just want to highlight that because i just went through something like that and <clears throat> I was sitting there and I was thinking to myself, okay, why did I act this way? What triggered this? Like, what was the root problem of this? When did this occur? Like, when, when was the beginning of this conversation that I got triggered? Okay, why did I get triggered? Okay, why did I react this way? Like, actually, why did I react this way? Could I have acted differently? Okay, what can you do now? What can you say now? to improve upon it i don't know i think that that's a small victory too to be able to reflect on yourself in a moment of chaos and
tests on a really big trigger of yours. If you guys are following. I don't know. I don't know. That's what I'm going through. I'm just telling myself that it's okay. And I'm proud of myself for reflecting. And since I reflected and since I'm here talking to you guys about it, which I'm really grateful for you guys, that I'm able to open my eyes more to see other ways that it's affected my life. So that's cool. Just always remember to not be too hard on yourself. Anything you're going through, even if you react some a way that you're not proud of or something, whatever it is, um, if you're able to reflect, move forward, change the way you move forward and really, really ask yourself questions and dig deep, then be proud of yourself, okay? Also, I do need to do my skincare. Look at how stressed I've been. Actually, I've always had redness in my face. The sliding, we're not even gonna talk about it. But yeah, I've always had like redness here with little bumps. But lately, I've been eating a lot of sugar and I've been stressed. And I'm on my period, which is great. But I also itch my face sometimes when I'm like anxious. I notice which is really bad I get itches like around my ears I literally look like Wednesday this is concerning Ugh. okay guys I'm gonna wash my face and journal to do a little bit more reflecting and we're not gonna talk about this lighting see you tomorrow <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, puppy. Ellie. Okay, <laughs> so you don't vlog and drive. Good morning, cuties. We're on day two, AKA Tuesday, and today is a very, 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 very busy day. I also wanted to tell you guys that in the mornings, what I do, typically I've been waking up anywhere between 5.30 and 6, because I actually am kind of a morning person now. Anyway, so I do that and I meditate. And then I'll usually drink coffee and have some sort of fruit and then I'll go for a walk and I don't film that because like you know how they say like like social media and going on your phone isn't the first thing you should be doing every morning and I kind of figured the same with this like I still want to be meditating and getting my headspace in the right space I guess every morning um, when I wake up I also do affirmations and I always say and I have been saying lately universe show me how good it gets first thing I say when I wake up hold on making a left turn here <laughs> I should not vlog and drive and I'm just so nervous right now no no we're gonna just be safe today you go thank you Every morning I've been waking up and I've been saying, universe, show me how good it gets. And that's actually been really helpful um, to set my day off on a good note. Also, we're going to ignore the lighting because I don't have time today to stop before I go into the gym to vlog to tell you guys this. So I'm doing this now because I just have a very busy day, um, which we can talk about 
too. But yeah, that's how I start off my day, if you guys were wondering. And I highly recommend also using affirmations. And with the mix, I find with the mix of affirmations for yourself and for your day, setting intentions, and then also saying like, show me how good it gets today, you start your day off on a good note and with that in mind, I think it helps me a lot with like kind self-talk because if I'm saying like today is going to be a great day, I'm not allowing any negativity into my space, um, any, if any triggers were to occur today, like I know how to handle them and get through them because I'm strong, you know, those kind of things we can go through all my affirmations that I use, but, um, when I say all that, I can't be mean to myself because I'm telling myself that I'm gonna have a really good day and everything's gonna go really well and how it's supposed to so if you do struggle with like not the kindest self-talk or you catch yourself even if you bring awareness to any times you're doing that and you catch yourself try to start your day off with intentions and affirmations and see if it changes the game for you okay okay guys we have stops now because this is it this is it so i'm at the gym right now um i'm not gonna film inside because i will get self-conscious and most likely anxious um because i've always loved the gym and i have a feeling that the second i um start recording and like make it for other people i'm not gonna like it myself so unfortunately you'll probably never ever see me film at the gym but i can give you guys my workouts and put right here so i'm doing shreddy it's an app by grace beverly i'm um it's amazing like honestly it's amazing i'm doing the transform guide right now and i've been working out since i was 17 like um like weightlifting um so it's nice that there's different workouts in here that i haven't tried or combinations um and i've definitely seen different muscle growth so when you're like that's just a reminder too like i was working out for so long and i was doing the same thing and i saw results but i was doing the same thing for years and like it's fun to switch it up so like don't be afraid to switch up your routine switch up your workouts try something new if that is something that you're into um but today i have a leg workout hopefully it won't take me that long but i have a feeling it will because it usually always does when i do legs so um i'm gonna do that and then i have to go home and clean my room up a little bit and my bathroom um and pack and then i basically will be leaving like just after noon or like before one hopefully um to go to toronto to stay with my family for the night and then tomorrow i fly out to vancouver so it's a very busy day I haven't started packing because I like to do things last minute so I know I don't um, forget anything which might seem dumb but it has always worked for me it's literally never failed me but yeah I'm I need to go work out today I chugged an oat milk latte absolutely guzzled that bitch because oh, I feel like I should move my car a bit <laughs> That's literally so stressful. Breathe me in. Oh, you guys were watching. Oh my god, everyone's leaving the gym when I should be going in. Okay, do you guys see how chaotic this morning is? I'm literally wasting so much time. I'm not wasting time. I'm not wasting time. I'm talking to you guys and I love it. But I had an oat milk latte because I was having a caffeine headache, which is really bad. That just means that I'm addicted to caffeine and I need to like get off of it because I don't like being addicted to things like it's not who I am um but that caffeine headache is real and it, it's not fun so I had to have a coffee and I had a banana to give me some energy which you guys saw anyway I'm gonna go hit legs and then uh I'll see you guys in a few when I'm a little sweaty and shreddy okay bye <laughs> I'm feeling sore, I'm not gonna lie. I am feeling sore. It was a really good workout though, but honestly, okay guys, I had like the scariest moment. I got there and I'm, it's just, it's my time of the month, okay? But it's like the end, 
right? So it's like not a lot. And I was like doing, um, I was doing stretches for like my hips and stuff because it was leg day. And I realized that there's nothing, I don't, I don't think I have a tampon in it. And I was like, oh my gosh. And this might be TMI as well, but whatever. I don't wear underwear when I wear leggings. Like I honestly, yeah, I just hate wearing underwear. So I was like, if I start bleeding, this is the beginning of my workout, I might cry. But then I was also like, whatever, who cares? But also, I was stressed, but luckily nothing happened. So thank the heavens, thank the Lord, thank the universe. And now it's time to make a protein smoothie and pack and clean and get to Toronto. So let's go. Also, I don't know if you guys watch my TikTok, but I lost... I don't know if you guys watch my TikTok, but I basically, long story short, I had this Aritzia coat and lost it. Well, it like got switched at the club. But this girl messaged me, the girl who actually has my coat, so I'm picking that up today, which is really exciting. Like I'm finally getting my coat back, um, which I was trying to like be all university, university, whatever, like positive and just be like, everything's meant to happen for a reason, which it is. And like there was good things that came out of it and lessons, but then also I was like, my coat will come back to me. Like I know it will, and it came back to me. And I know I'm not supposed to care about materialistic things, but all I'm saying is, like, <laughs> I know how to manifest, okay? Anyway, stunning. packing actually I'm over packing correction um, and I'm not filming because I have a lot to do but I'm procrastinating but I was cleaning out my hairbrush like pulling my hair out um, and I found a white feather in it like a little white feather and obviously that's a sign I don't know how that got in there but let's look up what a white feather is also on my walk today sorry so also on my walk today i saw like a blackish gray feather and then afterwards i saw like a little like a bunch of little blue feathers so i've been seeing a lot of feathers today it says it's a sign of purity innocence and protection i'm just taking it as protection and just a sign because I don't know if I'm finding the right stuff. Anyway, I'm overpacking right now. I'm gone for like a week, not even, like maybe six days. I'm probably gonna check in back with you guys when I'm on the road because this, like, you guys are a distraction, but you're like my favorite distraction because I could just sit here and talk to you, but I need to go in like an hour and I still need to shower and clean. So I'll, I'll see you soon, okay? I packed, I'm ready to go. And I think I might have overpacked, but it's fine. But now I'm gonna eat some fruit before we head on the road. I also didn't wash my hair, but I don't think any of you really care, so it's fine. Okay, so I'm waiting in my car. For my coat, she's like, I'm getting my coat soon. Also, this is the new light. Like, look how 
while it came in clutch. <laughs> but I just looked over to see, like just looked out at the sky and I need to show you guys the moon and the stars that I see. It's actually insane. Okay, of course the lighting is sabotage, but look. Like, actually I'm pretty sure that this star, okay, don't mind my finger, is Venus. But look at the moon. Like, you must be kidding. Anyway, love to see it. Okay, wait, wait, wait. wait. The time has come. <laughs> I am gonna give you guys a story time if you didn't know but basically did I tell you guys this already I went out this girl's friend took my coat by accident and then I was left with my coat and then all my friends were like you're not gonna get your coat back like no one's ever gotten their anything back when they went out so I posted TikTok and got a lot of views got all the shares all that stuff but she found me it's crazy that it worked out but yeah everything's always working out so just trust but i got my coat now we're heading back home but i'm gonna sign off for the night love you guys and i'll see you guys in the a.m good morning um okay hold on I'm trying to dim the light so I can see better, but then it just looks way worse on here. It's fine. You can't have nice things for a reason. Anyway, it's 5.49. I woke up a little bit ago. I just laid in bed, um, but I'm getting ready right now to go to the gym and do an upper body workout, so... Yeah, good morning. <laughs>
It was such a fun day today, um, snowboarding in Whistler. It was such a beautiful day. It was clear skies. It was minus 30 degrees. Um, so it was a little cold, but we had bundled up, so it was okay. But it was honestly so much fun. Um, I accidentally might have, like, I might have ran into a kid by accident and I said sorry and he said he was fine but besides that great day so I'm just really happy I think my sister had a really good birthday which is good um if you go over to my Instagram you'll see some pics from the day but it was really fun and now we ordered our favorite restaurant in Vancouver which is me on Main. it's all vegan um and we're just gonna eat in tonight and watch a movie we're so tired and I tried my best to get good content for you guys. I honestly don't know if it's good or not. We'll just see. But every time I took my hand out to like film, um, I thought my hand was gonna get frostbite in that second. Like my fingers naturally get really cold. My family, we have, um, what's it called? Raynoids, Raynoids, I think that's what it's called. When your fingers go like white, you can search it up. It sucks, but, um, so they're already really cold. And then in minus 30 degree weather, it was just a struggle. So yeah, but overall a great day. And this is the, <laughs> my current state after showering. Anyway, I love you guys so freaking much always. And I'll see you guys tomorrow, okay? Bye. sleeping just feels so messed up but I'm trying and I know the second I adjust will be the day that I'm going back so I don't even know what the point is but anyway um, I'm gonna meditate right now and maybe journal because I haven't done that since I've been here which has not been good but I'm gonna do that now and then I'm gonna make a coffee and read and I'll just show you guys my morning so usually if I meditate in the afternoon I'll just do it by myself I feel like I'm being loud but I think I'm also being so quiet also look at my dry skin please send help but I use headspace so this is the app this is what it looks like at the beginning I like the front page and I usually do the breathing and then one or two meditations depending on how I feel in the morning and how much time I have. Um, sometimes I do the wake up, which is like always a video lesson kind of thing from someone who works at Headspace. They're kind of cool. Um, they also have an afternoon one and an evening one. And then they have podcasts. Um, sleep stuff, music, different guided programs, stuff for kids, mindful eating, stuff for students, money, like there's a ton of stuff on here, it's a really good app. But we're gonna meditate now and get the morning started. Mm. 
so now i'm just gonna journal for a bit um since it's in the morning i'm gonna journal what i'm grateful for today maybe write down some affirmations and then also just how i've been feeling this week or anything i remember i dreamed about anything that comes to mind kind of thing and then i think we're gonna go for a walk because i really want to go outside <music> So today, um, after we did the workout and went to Body Energy, we, sorry, hi, I should say hi. Also, the lighting. I should really get my light, but we are supposed to leave like two minutes ago and I'm wearing sweatpants. Um, but we're going out for dinner right now. Again, it's, it's still my sister's birthday, like technically you know birth week whatever so we're going out for dinner with her and her friends um and we're getting ready right now and i'm just running so behind but i thought i'd say hi today i got the fenty beauty heat gloss bomb heat so this is the gloss bomb and fussy and this is the gloss bomb and glow heat i think I've never tried this. It's a little bit darker. You guys probably can't tell. But like this is a pink and this is more of like a brownish, nudey, pinky something. Oh, how? <laughs> Thumbnail. Okay, right, let's try this. This is literally the color of my lips. Do I like this? I like it. I'll show you guys in different lighting so you can see my makeup for real because this is literally yellow. Like this is not good. But I'm gonna put my pants on and my shoes, which I might wear sneakers. That's like too dressed down. Oh, Devin, come on, pull yourself together. I'm gonna put my pants on and then I'll show you guys the finished look. Okay, this is the finished makeup look. Um, my lips are kind of staying because I think this is also a plumper, which your girl didn't know. Also, don't mind the background noise, but I look kind of cute. Also, it's very cash. I should have brought like a dress or something, but guys, we know I passed last night. We're not gonna be hard on ourselves. This is my fit. This shirt, these pants from Maritzia, and I'm wearing sneakers because I was snowboarding the other day, as you guys know, and my ankles hurt. And there's the birthday girl. <laughs> so we're not wearing heels, aka me. It's not happening. Hashtag. Yeah, okay. Can you see that little kick? No. The crack. <laughs> okay. Look at this. I put okay. it on my cheek. You know what? Oh, it looks good. Okay. That's enough. See you later. Happy birthday to you. Woo! Good morning. 
So right now I'm on my way to the gym. It's 6 a.m. We're going to Seattle today, so I wanted to work out before we were in the car for a really long time. Um, so yeah. So I just finished at the gym. I did a quick workout. Um, it was like a full body conditioning. I think I'll do another one tonight after our little Seattle trip because I just need more of a pump. But um, today's the last day of this weekly diary, this the Devon diary. So first of all, thank you so much for watching. Um, sorry, I'm a little out of breath. I should slow down my walk. <laughs> I always seem to sprint, but um, this week, I think I learned, like the biggest lesson I learned was to take pressure off myself. I think when you're constantly like, trying to send a message out to other people to help people. I was focusing like a little bit too much on what you guys would think and not what would help you, what you would relate to, what you would understand and um, what would make me happy. I think as humans we put a lot of pressure on ourselves and sometimes it can affect us negatively because whether that's your age and figuring out what you want to do or sending out the right message or something in a relationship okay yeah literally anything like putting pressure on ourselves for anything that just has to do with us like evolving and growing but it could be anything like i said so i think me just kind of taking a step back and understanding that i don't have to be so hard on myself um has really helped me it's also funny because my healing journey really started out here in Vancouver and that's where I am right now. So it's kind of like a full circle and Pisces season. I think I might have said this in part of this video, but I said it's the first Zodiac. I'm pretty sure it's actually the last. So it's like endings, like release. And then last night I saw 999, which is the angel number for release as well. Um, so it's all kind of full circle and really funny, but I've definitely been releasing like this week and the pa over the past two weeks like anything that doesn't serve me, any relationships or getting clarity on certain areas of my life. But most importantly, I think being out here has helped me find my passion again for doing this and life and like, you know, where I see myself going forward and just not being shy or caring so much about what other people think like it's 7 a.m maybe 7 30 and i was walking in the middle of the street vlogging and like i don't care at all and i didn't care before when i first started either but somewhere in the middle kind of got lost in translation i guess and the pressure and the anxiety just caught up to me so i've actually really enjoyed filming this week um like a vlog style and just talking to you guys, um, showing you what I'm doing, showing you any thoughts that run through my mind. And yeah, I've really liked it. So I'm excited to do these every week. Um, I'm excited to hear what you guys think. And I'm excited to also um, show you guys the other videos that will be getting posted along with this, so stay tuned. But overall, I hope you guys have such an amazing week and I hope something that has happened to me this week or something I've said has helped inspire you or helped you or put a smile on your face or something happy. Um, but I will talk to you guys really, really soon um, and enjoy these last clips from Seattle and don't forget to love yourself first.